back after my call and um, again. Sorry. Now I'm kind of, of course you know me being the um, obsessive compulsive or what's the word I'm looking for? These don't match. So this is upsetting me that I'm sharing this with you. But how cool are these shoes? I'm just so excited about them. Even, you know what? These are going to look really cute. Yes. I'm being such a typical woman right now. Thinking of fashion over function. Because I'm thinking these will look so cute with um, capris in the gym. But I'm going to be hitting the gym shortly. And now I'm going to share a very difficult experience with you. Just because it's here and I have to... I'm finishing up my cabbage, sauteed cabbage, vegetables. I think I put some zucchini in here today and then my ground turkey. It looks disgusting, but it's good. And now, I'm getting ready to take because I've eaten. So this is when I take my first set of vitamins. So I've got my stinky... I'm sorry, GNC, but they're stinky. But I still take them. Um, so this is my... Um, They smell, I'm sorry. You guys know, you take your vitamins because they're good for you. Not because it's enjoyable or they taste good. These aren't chewy. And then this is my, um, the Physio Burn. And because of Dr. Mike, I am taking two of these a day. Um, but anyway, this is typically what I do is after a meal, oh my God, I just brought in a soda and it's overflowing. I think I need to check my refrigerator outside in the garage because it's obviously freezing. The, the kind folks at Coca-Cola sent me, damn it, a um, refrigerator. And uh, I'll, I'll just try to say gag in front of you guys. Um, but this is, this is like this strange process that I go through of, I always have a big glass of water when I'm taking my vitamins and then some kind of chaser. You think I was doing shots of tequila or something. I wish it was that fun. And yes, I have Christmas music playing. Aren't you excited? But I always need like a chaser, something that takes my mind off the fact that I'm taking vitamins. But all that said, guys, here's the thing. There's no disputing that vitamins can help you, okay? We take them because they're good for us. And whatever you have to do, take them every day. So this is the process that we go through. Let's see what I'm probably gonna do now is take a bite of something. So that I distract myself. This is what you do. Oh, I think the smelliest one is coming up. I'm doing this for you to encourage you to take your vitamins. Oh, okay. Ah! Part one is done. Shoot. Okay, I have another call in 10 minutes. Also, by the way, so in part one of this vlog, I put on the, Re the new Reebok top that I just got today. Thank you, Reebok. And as I told you, it's got the keyholes that we love. If I zip it up all the way, see? Um, I don't think there's anything on the back. Let me see if we've got any zippers that are hiding. It's shorter in the back. See, I can't. It's longer in the front, so it goes um, down, just down in the front, and then it goes up above the booty in the back. Um, and then, if you unzip, obviously, it's really cozy. I don't know how to describe it, other than I've been wearing it around my house uh, while I had some calls. This is really, really soft on the inside and cozy. And then, let's see. Oh, there's, there's a pocket here. There's pockets on both sides, which is cool. So, let's go into part two. Physio burn. Um, this is what I do every day, guys. I go into this really crazy, stupid um, self-distraction mode. Um, but I am gonna head over to the gym 
to do, okay, here's what I'm doing this week. You know that in the past I've been doing, I, I did um, Valerie Waters, two different circuit programs. And I really love them. But I felt that I was, I was writing to um, Joe and I was telling him like, I'm ready to step it up. Like I'm really missing the gym. So I'm really excited, not only because it's cold out, to get back into the gym, to get back into lifetime. Um, and really hit the weights hard. Like that's one of the things I've been missing. I love Valerie's program, it's been great. It's always something I'm gonna do or, or incorporate. I'm ready for some serious muscle building. And like I told you, obviously, weight loss slash, let me say fat loss, um, is still what I'm working on. Yeah, I have to tell you guys, I was kind of, I was bummed to get on the scale last week. It was it was a bummer for me and I was expecting it. Like I, I got on the scale and I'm like, I just know mentally, that's why I told Dr. Mike, I'm like, that's why I don't weigh myself because I know when I get on the scale, if it's not what I wanna see, it's gonna be in the back of my head. It can really be a total mind, you know what? But that said, I've made a good amount of progress. I'm certainly not gonna let it stop me. Um, it's really only gonna make me work that harder. And in the big picture, I don't care what my weight is. I don't mind telling people. The only reason, um, I've told you guys this before, I don't care if a size eight jeans is the smallest I ever get to. In my whole life, I've never been smaller than a four. And the only time I was a size four is when I had mono. So what does that tell you? Um, I know I said this a long time ago. One of the other weird things about me is I don't, when I eat with a spoon or a fork, I remember my ex-husband noticed this about me first and I was like, I don't put my mouth on the spoon. Like I don't, here's how a normal person eats food. They go, right? With your lips on the spoon. I don't do that, watch this. No idea. What does that mean? Who knows what it means, but it's just something that I do. My teeth hit the spoon and I probably annoy people. Last one, no, then I have my probiotic. Last one. But you take probiotics for good bacteria. I can't get enough bacteria, right? Okay, I'm done. See, that wasn't that difficult. Actually, it was, but keep doing it. Um, so anyway, I'm heading over to Lifetime. Um, it's like bird happy hour outside my house and I have to keep watching these damn squirrels. If you could see it though right now, what's really funny is that there's like, I've got a baker's rack outside and uh, it's like a, a waiting line to get into the bird feeder. So there's like a whole line of birds and they just each, you know, one will get off and get and they don't understand there's two bird feeders, so they keep going to the emptier one. And that blasted squirrel knocked it down earlier. See, now I'm getting hot. Um, anyway, so I'm going to head over to Lifetime, and it's so funny because I had just been talking to Joe about, and he's gonna design a specific weight training and um, cardio program for me. We're gonna, when I'm in New York next month, he's gonna like do all of this like in-depth testing and measuring of everything of me. So yeah, the, the pressure, not pressure, that's not the word I'm saying. It's gonna really be on because Joe's not playing. Not that I'm saying Valerie was, but like he is not gonna let me be like, there just won't be any excuses, which is, that's cool. But all that to say, he just posted on Facebook today something about like, hey guys, circuits are great, but you still, I don't know that he necessarily used the term isolation training, 
but he's like, you know, you've got to get in the gym and, and really focus on strength. It's not just circuits. And I do think that certainly is something I've uh, gotten into, whether it's food or working out. I find something I like and then I overdo it. That's not necessarily overdo it, but that's all I do. Like, look at this stupid cabbage thing. I love this cabbage dish and I'm making it every day. Inevitably, I'm gonna get sick of it and then I'm gonna move on to something else. Um, I love Christmas music. This is actually one of my favorite songs, but not this version by Hanson. And yes, I do like Hanson. Um, so anyway, I'm really looking forward to getting into the gym tonight. Um, I will probably, uh, until I meet with Joe, and he's developed my actual program, I'm gonna ask him. I kind of like the idea of running, like doing my, uh, maybe doing like back and biceps tonight and then running afterwards. I'm gonna have to see if he says that's okay. Because uh, what I don't want to do is waste my efforts in the gym, you know, and do something where he's like, <sighs> Also, my new neighbors that are across the street have had this red, um, red, I'm trying to think of what this is. Is it a, I should take a picture and show you. It's a, um, I almost want to go show you, but what if, if they saw me filming them? It's a, it's like a, a, a cart that you would push a kid in. It's three wheels. And these people moved in like two weeks ago and it has been sitting out front of their driveway. Two weeks! Why don't you put it in the garage? I really let things bother me way too much, don't I? I have a meeting in two minutes, so I have to go. You guys have a good week. And I didn't mean to say that. Have a good night. I will be back tomorrow. And, um, Mom goes for her first chemo treatment tomorrow, so thank you for your continued prayers. Um, she had the uh, port put in, uh, which helps them, you know, put the, the chemo in. So um, she's feeling much better today. She thought she was going to be in a lot more pain because of that, but she's just drinking bourbon all day, so she's fine. Just kidding. Talk to you guys tomorrow.